Meghan and Harry rejected by Australians according to new poll, do to impose on us. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not wanted in Australia according to a new poll which surveyed those living down under. Honey 9 collected opinions of 703 participants and found that just 7% were in favour of a move from the royals. I would love to Harry and Meghan come to Australia for a period of time and really engage with the people to understand our unique culture here, one respondent wrote. It would be interesting to have a royal living permanently in Australia, the benefits to Australia and New Zealand and our economy and tourism would be wonderful, said another. But one in five participants were totally against the idea, saying that they don't want the Sussexes to move to Australia at all. A number of recipients said they simply didn't care, while several were adamantly against the idea. Leave the royals in the UK and don't impose any cost onto us, one wrote. Rumours after the couple's visit last year were circling that Prince Harry could be made Australia's Governor-General, with many suggesting the solution would give the pair the distance from UK public life they now seem to be gravitating towards. As fans will be aware. The pair have spent some time on a break from royal duties in America after it was revealed the Duchess was struggling under the pressure of royal life and as such the couple are expected to spend Christmas with the Duchess' mum. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry earlier this year revealed they are planning to give their son Archie Harrison a baby brother or sister and become a family of four. Royal commentator Juliet Ryden suggested the couple could return from their break to announce the arrival of a new royal baby next year. Asked for her prediction for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for 2020, Ms. Ryden told Nine News Australia, we might see another baby. As fans will be aware, the pair have spent some time on a break from royal duties in America after it was revealed the Duchess was struggling under the pressure of royal life and as such the couple are expected to spend Christmas with the Duchess' mum. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry earlier this year revealed they are planning to give their son Archie Harrison a baby brother or sister and become a family of four. Royal commentator Juliet Ryden suggested the couple could return from their break to announce the arrival of a new royal baby next year. Asked for her prediction for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for 2020, Ms. Ryden told Nine News Australia, we might see another baby. Speaking to OK! Magazine. The Royal Insider said, Meghan already told pals that when she comes to deliver her next baby, she would like to do it in LA where she was born and bred. She said that being pregnant in the UK without any of her family and friends felt incredibly lonely and uncomfortable for her. So she's keen to change that the second time around and would like to buck tradition to ensure she's happy, although that may ruffle feathers along the way. Bookies have slashed odds that the pair will have another child in 2020. Bedmakers Coral spokesperson Harry Aitkenhead said, Harry and Meghan have made no secret of their desire to have another child and we make next year the hot favourite for the year that it is born. The couple are odds-on to welcome another royal baby to the world in 2020. Despite the fact the pair will be missing several royal functions while abroad insiders were quick to quell any worries over the Duke and Duchess' absence. They said the Queen had already been informed of their absence, and his understanding of the situation. Some royal officials had initially hoped Harry and Meghan might return long enough to join the Queen's staff party on Monday, where they have attended previously.